Right, so it's been a while, but we're finally here. I put out a poll not long ago asking you guys what you wanted to see next mixtape wise. And uh, it was very popular on the poll, but you guys chose MD Pope 2. And that got about 63% of votes. So today, we're covering MD Pope 2. And I would highly recommend like grabbing a coffee or something like that because this one is a long one so i'm going to try and cover at least half of it in one part and one half of it in a second part uh, which you'll see all rolled into one video so that doesn't really matter too much and it is quite early in the morning so uh, i do sound a little bit shit now just a fair warning as with all videos like this this will of course include graphic descriptions of weird pornography, gore, um, animal abuse, there's a little bit of that in there, um, yeah just a lot of things that you can think of really. So without further ado, let's get into MD Pope 2. So this is another creation made by Thomas Cinemagore and he does label it again as another illegal production. There's some nice body parts making up the uh, first letter of each word of MD Pope, which obviously stands for most disturbed person on planet earth. Uh, and these body parts just so happen to be penises. We've got a short disclaimer as well, which uh, doesn't really mean anything, as well as another disclaimer of what we're about to see. Okay, so we get straight into the action with a clip called Kinky Thai Young Dog Shit Whore. There's a dog that's throwing up and it's forced to throw up onto a woman's face in which she starts eating the vomit. The next clip is called Brushing Tongue with Shit. It's nice to see that we're back at it again with the Asian scat porn and uh, you can already sort of think about what we're about to see. There's a young Japanese woman taking a poo on a glass tabletop puts some of this poo onto a toothbrush and then starts to brush her tongue with the poo brush. The next clip is called High Heel Bloody Dick. Basically there's a penis and balls poking up through a hole in the floor. A woman is wearing leopard printed high heels. She messes about with the penis slightly under her high heel and squashes it gently. She then proceeds to jam the stiletto in the top of the penis putting a hole in the penis and making it piss blood all over the floor. Next up we've got maggot lips. And I mean the description is basically the video. There's a man with a bunch of maggots crawling around, infesting his lips and his mouth. The next video is thief mauled by a dog. Now it's always good seeing animals getting a little bit of payback on the human race. The video is very low quality, but you can clearly see that the dog is ripping into the face of this apparent thief, and half of his face is pretty much ripped up and unrecognisable. You can hear him struggling to moan out in pain. The next clip is a clip that's used on the Gauntlet Challenge, which is actually Smegma Dick Suck. It's a video where there's a man with quite an unhealthy penis. A woman pulls down his foreskin to reveal that his penis is basically covered in white smegma. She begins to lick it slowly at first, reeling back in disgust. And then she sort of just laps it all up. And I absolutely hate this clip a lot. Next up we've got split dick masturbation. It's a guy whose penis and balls are split in half. He puts a dildo up his bumhole. He's also got nipple clamps on. Now there's a huge ripped open hole in his ball sack, okay? And uh, he puts his finger inside the hole and uh, all the way through to his anus and rubs one half of his split penis. He pokes his bum hole so you can see that his finger is all the way down there. He ejaculates and when he does, the semen just comes out of the bottom of the ball sack. 
The next clip is called Puppy Dog Burning. Now there's a puppy in a bowl. Somebody proceeds to throw what I can only presume is oil or petrol onto the puppy. And then they set fire to the bowl with the puppy in it. As the puppy rolls around in agony, they throw more oil or gas onto it until the puppy eventually dies. They're laughing at it while it rolls around in agony, uh, and then they zoom in on its charred remains once it's dead. Next up we've got, and I need to look at my notes for this one, this is a man with giant swinging balls. He hits them back and forth on a butt plug that he's got inserted into his anus as he screams loudly. The next clip is called Maggots Love Dick. It's basically just a guy holding maggots onto his penis. Next clip is called Shit Shampoo. A woman basically takes a diarrhea dump into a large bowl and it then cuts to her using this shit as the shampoo. Next video is called Get That Wasp In Your Piss Hole and automatically my heart skips a beat. As someone with a fear of wasps, I can't imagine that. This video is going to cure my fear of them anytime soon. I think he lubes the wasp up, which pisses the wasp off a little bit. He grabs some pincers off of the desk and then gently inserts the wasp into his pee hole. And all I can think the whole time is, okay, this wasp is seriously pissed off and is currently stinging him inside of his piss hole. The next clip is called Cannibal Train. This is someone on a train who's holding a guy down who's basically tearing off chunks of his flesh with his own teeth and essentially just eating him. The next clip is called Dick Tax. And as you can already tell, just 15 minutes into this thing, there's a lot of like penis torture based content. This is another guy with a split penis. He lays his penis onto a lined up line of thumbtacks in which he presses his penis down onto the thumbtacks and presses down quite hard. He then starts gently hammering it down with a small mallet and then picks up another smaller mallet and then starts gently hitting his penis down onto the tacks even further. He then lifts up his penis and obviously it's uh, not a pleasant sight. There's just thumbtacks stuck in there randomly with blood dripping from them. He then takes them out and as he does so, there's one thumbtack in particular which is just really lodged in there, which when he takes out his penis just starts pissing blood. The next video is called Ovary Cutting. Now while this sounds horrifying, it's actually kind of more of an interesting little break. It's a medical clip of a surgeon cutting an ovary open. Now it is pretty gross as there's a ton of yellow liquid that comes gushing out. But it basically shows us what an ovary looks like inside. The next clip is called Scatologic Incest Lesbians. There's two Asian women. One of them puts an orange filter into the other woman's asshole. It cuts to this woman with the funnel in her ass, sort of like being stood on, her stomach stood on, and she's got her legs up. And then she goes and shoots poo all over the floor. The second woman then puts a dildo up her bum, basically pleasuring her. The next clip is called Man Fucks Himself. And when I say that, I mean literally. He basically ties his flaccid penis around to his ass. He then proceeds to quite literally fuck himself. Which really puts a whole new meaning to the term go fuck yourself. Because this man literally did it. The next clip is called Sucking Dolphin Dick. A man who looks like a dolphin trainer literally grabs a dolphin's penis and starts performing fellatio. The next clip is called Head Exploded But Still Alive. Now this clip is actually on Snuff R73 as well, 
it's basically a kid who looks like she's been involved in some kind of war related incident. The whole top of her head has been blown off. There's only a very small amount of brain left in her head, but she still seems to be alive. The next clip is called Rotten Cock. There's a man sitting in a hospital bed. The camera pans down from his face to his privates, and the whole area just looks like a takeaway pizza. You can't make out a penis and balls from it, and the whole area just looks like this yellow and brown mush. The next clip is called Diarrhea Masturbation. It's a woman shoving a dildo into her bum and fingering her bum while she lets out a diarrhea poop. Next up we've got She is an Amazing Lover. This is a woman throwing up onto a man's face and into his mouth several times. She also throws up into various bowls. There's like chicken noodle soup in there and vegetables and everything you can think of. Next clip we've got more toothbrushing with shit. And honestly the scat and vomit gets a little bit monotonous at this point. And I was sort of hoping that it would change up pretty soon. And it kind of does, so stay with me. The same thing happens as the last clip really and someone basically brushes her tongue with her own poo. Next up we've got three guys, one hammer. Now we've actually talked about this on two separate occasions, yeah links are in the description but I'm just basically going to explain the bit that's been included in the mixtape, just so it's here. There's a man lying in a woods clearing, he's got a yellow toolbox on top of him. One of the men hits him in the face with a hammer multiple times, concealed in a bag. This disfigures his face as the man on the ground struggles to breathe and you can basically hear him gurgling. The man who hit him with a concealed hammer is now stabbing him multiple times in the stomach with a screwdriver. And then the cameraman himself decides to get a piece of the action and also starts stabbing the man in the stomach with a screwdriver as well. The cameraman then begins to cut into the man's eyes and face. The man being filmed then begins to stand on the man's stomach and then the cameraman begins to stab the man in the stomach yet again. He also pokes him in the eyes as well. The man being recorded by the cameraman then finishes the man off the ground off with a hammer. They then run back to their car where they basically clean the equipment and their hands off and basically shove everything into the trunk of the car. Next up we've got a clip called Fucking the Meat Hole. It's a guy cutting what looks to be a large lump of steak. He cuts a large hole in it and then he puts his penis in it, has intercourse with it and ejaculates. Next up we've got a clip called Cat Chopper. There's this horrible fat man with glasses who comes over to this cat uh, who already looks like it's in a pretty bad state. He proceeds to chop its head off with a butcher's knife. As he's halfway through cutting its head off, he lets go of the cat and it starts violently convulsing on the ground. Next up we've got Japanese schoolgirl vomit. Now it's a Japanese schoolgirl, or rather an adult dressed up to look like a schoolgirl. She vomits into a bowl. She starts playing with the vomit in the bowl with her hands. She gets a big load of the vomit cupped into her hands in which she shows the camera. She then proceeds to drink from the bowl. The next clip is called Lost Penis, No More Parts. This is an old guy who strips completely naked in which he pans the camera down to his genital area. He reveals his underwear and when he pulls the underwear down it's basically just some pubic hair and balls. And yeah it's just showing us his balls really. Next up we've got pukes while getting ass fucked. I mean it's pretty self explanatory really. There's a woman who pukes into a dog bowl while a man goes ham in her ass. Next up we've got a clip called Old Maggot Dick. Again it's another video of a man with his penis in a large glass of maggots. Next up we've got Fire Dog. And again this is a video of people setting a dog on fire, they poured gas on it, set it on fire and actually turned my volume down all the way 
for this one because the screams of the dog were just absolutely horrific. So when they set the dog on fire, it basically runs away and then they follow it, they chase after it and it basically just stops at one point and starts rolling around and convulsing very aggressively. And I hate it, every second of it. The next clip is called Wife Head Off For Cheating. It's a woman in a pink top who's on her knees. A man wearing a balaclava proceeds to behead her with a small knife. Next up we have Shit Shampoo Part 2. You know, because we really needed a part 2. Now luckily this clip is only 10 seconds long and it basically shows a woman shitting into a bowl and then pouring the contents of the bowl over her head. Next up we've got Live Frog Dinner. Now I wasn't sure whether I could actually show this clip. Um, it's pretty interesting, but it's basically a Japanese dish. The preparation of a Japanese dish called frog sashimi. So to uh, to explain this clip, I'll, uh, I'll put up a picture of a frog and let the narrator basically tell you guys what this clip's about. Have you seen the YouTube videos of eating frog sashimi? Frog sashimi is a popular menu item at Shinjuku in Tokyo. How is it prepared? The frog is opened up with a sharp knife from the body down and the head and the upper body and legs are still intact. In one video, the frog is seen to be cut into and stripped of its skin from the body down. The frog can be seen twitching and its eyes are blinking while it was served fresh on the cold platter. The rest of the frog is simmered to make a soup after the sashimi bites are taken off. It isn't clear if the frog is actually dead or alive as its brain is still intact. Even meat lovers responded saying, Okay, I'm all for animals as a source of food, but this is inhumane. That poor frog can sense pain and fear. If you're going to eat it, you don't have to make it suffer unnecessarily like that. It was probably in agony. I'm not like a super animal rights freak, but this is cruel. The poor frog in the video is being tortured alive and made to watch its own innards get ripped and placed on a serving platter. How cruel is that? Other viewers were quick to disperse the stereotyping of Japanese saying, I am Japanese. Almost all Japanese don't eat it. Not many found this to be a good thing. Next up, we've got hot oil on dick and balls. There's a dude who looks a bit like a Discord moderator, in which he has a pan, which I can only presume is full of hot oil. He pours a little bit of this onto his penis and balls. He then shows himself dipping his penis end into the pan. And then he turns around with his ass right in front of the camera and proceeds to pour hot oil on his bum. The next clip is called Hypertrophy Gentile Girls. There's these two Asian girls and one of them is wearing a gigantic penis with pubic hair attached to it. And uh, she's basically screwing the other girl with this uh, gigantic penis strap on. And then she makes this gigantic penis ejaculate all over the woman that's been uh, sexed. I think, I think the best word is. Now it gets a little bit weird in that because they start scissoring and uh, for some reason whoever made this particular movie, yeah, let's call it a movie, fuck it, uh, decided that it would be a good idea to have fake blood spray all over the place. Next up, we've got the Scatman, and I don't mean that song by Scatman John. This is a man whose face is covered in poo. He has a pile of poo that he's holding, and he's basically just munching away. He starts rubbing it on his chest, which to him, I guess, would be a complete waste of food. He then starts jacking off, using the poo as lube. Next up we've got Monkey Killer. Now this is a dead monkey who's apparently been killed by a load of parasites which seem to have infected its body. And it basically just shows the veterinarian pulling these parasites out of the monkey's dead body. Next up we've got the Cum Drinker. There's about 10 glasses sitting on a table and about 6 of them are filled to the brim with what is apparently semen. He takes a little gulp of the first glass and he doesn't seem to be enjoying it that much. Now if you live in the UK, you might have seen a little something on TV before called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. It's basically like one of those 
Bush Tucker trials that they've got to take on. Now it pans out and for some reason he's sitting in a suitcase. He, he then starts to pour these glasses of semen all over his body. He's then given a bright yellow towel to clean himself off. He takes off his now soiled underwear as somebody laughs in the background. Next up we've got more maggot cock and this time the maggots are actually inside his pee hole. Next up we've got vomiting is so sexy. It's basically just a woman puking into a bowl over and over again. The next video is called Never Too Late for Abortion. This is basically a woman lying on a surgery bed uh, having a baby, except the baby's head is stuck. They inject the woman with an anaesthetic and then start to pull the now deceased baby out of her. It comes out and its head is basically just a mush. All of the skin and flesh off of its head peels off and it's basically just a skull. Next up we've got some nasty shit. You know as if everything in this mixtape so far hasn't been nasty shit. It's a giant spot on a guy's head in which this huge parasite gets removed from it. Next up we've got fat fucker wants to fuck his mother-in-law. This is a guy, naked, pretending to fuck his mother-in-law, moaning things like, oh 63 years old. Next up we've got the real cock shocker. It's a guy who decides to wrap his penis in some kind of aluminium foil uh, in which he basically puts it into an electric plug socket. Next up we've got yet again more toothbrushing with shit. And I'm not going to go to detail on these because it's basically the same stuff we've seen in the last two clips. Next up we've got dildo removed from anus. Now it's a man on an operating table who's obviously had a very unfortunate accident with a very big dildo. Now these doctors are sort of just laughing about it as it's basically probably not something that they come across on a daily basis. So we're about an hour into the mixtape now and as we know with ND Pope a lot of the clips have really dragged out. Um, so, so far there's a lot of poo and vomit uh, to the point where it's pretty damn monotonous so far. Nevertheless we don't stop if we're working on something so uh, all we need to do is carry on. Next up we've got the Harlem Struggle. Now this is a Harlem Shake meme based on a particular sex position on a man having his legs wrapped around a woman's neck with his erect penis in her mouth. Next up we've got a clip called Baby Face. Now this is a video of a dead baby. Its face is completely gone with its head and skull completely crushed. Next up we've got Bathtub Drowning. Now this is a clip that's also featured on the Gartland Challenge which includes somebody, a man or a woman, who's basically trying to do an escapism trick in a bathtub full of water. The hands are tied behind the back of their legs which are also tied up as well with their body and head submerged underwater. They start off calm but then begin to panic as they realise they can't get out of this trick. They thrash around in the bathtub until eventually they drown and pass away. The next clip is called Teeth Brushing. Now this is similar to the tooth brushing with poo in which it's just a woman actually brushing her teeth with semen instead. Again there's not much to say about this except she does give it a little bit of a gargle. Next up we've got the Eugene Armstrong beheading. Now this is a man called Eugene Armstrong who was an American civil engineer. Now he was held hostage by a jihad group who basically threatened that if they don't release all Muslim women from US prisons then the hostage Eugene Armstrong would be beheaded. Now this video basically shows that ransom video. They push him to the ground and quickly behead him while he screams. It's very gruesome as you can tell when they cut through his vocal cords as his screams become very sort of high pitched and the screams eventually cut out. 
Now once they're done beheading him, they place his head on top of his body. Next up we've got piercing your testicle without gloves. This is a man with a giant needle piercing his testicle all the way through. Next up we've got dog spin. This is a giant crowd of men who tie up a dog and then sort of lift it up into the air between two poles. The dog spins round and round very quickly. Presume, 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 I can't say that word. Presumably breaking several bones in the process, in which it eventually falls into a river below. The dog manages to swim out, in which it's tied up again, lifted off the ground, and set off in the same motion. Next up, we've got Fatty Fucker. This is a clip of a very large woman lying on the bed while a man gives her oral sex. And then the man proceeds to just sort of give her a good seeing to. Next up, we've got the creepiest motherfucker in porn. This is so cringy, but quite funny at the same time, and I think you guys can have a listen to this. There's nothing really overly sexual sounding within it. It's just a really strange, odd porn actor failing to perform with several women. And I just found it quite funny, so have a listen. I love floppy disks. They are just as good as CDs, they just don't hold as much. Or as good as DVDs, but they don't hold as much. As They're the same quality. Am I right? And perform oral sex for a minute? Oh, this is it stuck to me? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, if you'd come like this, I want to show your anatomy on film. Like that? I want to show your anatomy. I want to show your anatomy. I want to show your anatomy. Right. The the camera the eye of the camera is where your is is where your vagina is. Your face, your your hot nose. Okay. Uh, no, it's we we need to show the dick. Okay. Am I hurting you, Emily? No. Does that hurt? No. Does that hurt? No. Does that hurt? Make a lot of noise. Huh? Make noise. Noise. Uh, okay. <laughs> The next clip is called Rub Those Prolapsed Assholes Together. The clue to what this is, of course, is in the title of the clip. This is two women rubbing their prolapsed assholes together. Next up, we've got Chop Chop Chopping the Head Off. Now, as if you needed to guess, this is, of course, a beheading video. This is a military member chopping the head off a man using a large machete. Next up is Japanese schoolgirl vomit. Again, a girl pukes into a bowl, messes about with it a little bit, and then to make things more exciting, she puts the vomit into a blender. She blends it up and drinks it from the glass like a vomit smoothie. Next up, we've got bum eating live mice. So this is a homeless guy with barely any teeth just chucking live mice into his mouth. He's drinking water from a large white bucket, and he's basically just chewing them and eating them. Next up, we've got Shit Mask. Now it's a man wearing a World War II style gas mask. It's the guy in a gas mask doing a variety of things with poo. Wanking, sniffing it, shitting it out of his ass, rubbing it on his poo bum. He then takes the mask off and then starts licking the mask clean, to be honest. Next up we've got head twisted and ripped off. And it is of course another beheading video. So they're going to cut in this man's head off. And once it's about 80% removed, they start just sort of twisting it and tearing off the head. Next up we've got single most epic cum shot fail. This is a girl who takes a mouthful of semen and then just sort of throws up. By accident, my I add, this bit of uh, vomit porn was actually accidental. She throws up like 
more than three times. Uh, but they're all laughing about it, including her. She seems to be okay. And it's actually a pretty funny clip, despite it being a little bit gross. But the nice with her, they basically hand her a plastic bag to throw up in and help her clean herself up. The next clip is old woman's eye socket teeming with maggots. And again, this one is also on the gauntlet challenge. And again, this is basically what it says on the tin. There's this old woman and her eye socket is basically infected and teeming with maggots. And it's pretty awful, her face is covered in blood and she's basically got an eye missing, which is replaced by a large mound of maggots. The doctors then start removing them from her eye socket. Next up we've got the penis branding. This is a guy who gets this fire lighter and his penis helmet basically starts going black. And then he starts branding his penis with the tip of the fire lighter, in which his uh, helmet just goes all scabby and green. Next up we've got scatologic anal masturbation. And again it's nothing that we haven't seen before. It's an Asian girl covered in poo, masturbating anally. Next up is drinking a blended mice smoothie. Now a man starts off with what I'll call a platter of mice. Now the mice are already dead um, and one by one this man starts picking them off the platter and placing them into a blender. In total he puts in 10 mice into this blender as there's a, a very well placed mice counter. Now the mice don't blend properly because, you know, they've got bones and stuff. Uh, so he basically adds in a little bit of water as he blends them. And then it's time for him to drink the blended mice. He takes a small sip and then it looks like he's about ready to throw up. So he takes a small sip of water. He then pours the mice martini into a glass and it's all lumpy. It's fairly obvious that somebody's probably probably not dared him to do it as i find out later on who this man actually is um and he's clearly not enjoying the drink and eventually he manages to finish the whole thing next up we've got pig in half this is a pig on its back with a rope around each of its legs now the video looks like it's taken in an asian country and it could possibly be taiwan or china now the man with a very large sword proceeds to cut the pig in half while it's still alive, cutting open its body at first and then hacking into it. And I'll just stress that this whole ordeal is actually done in front of a large group of people. Now this must be some kind of ceremony as the people performing it are actually dressed in some kind of red and gold garb. Next up we've got I want to play with my bunny. It's a guy with long blonde hair, which actually looks a bit like a wig. The man's also wearing bunny ears. He has this sort of like red icing on his crotch area in which he basically puts his hand on and then licks off. He also rubs some on his lips like a lipstick and then rubs some on his face cheeks. He also uses it on his eyelids as well. The next clip is called Vagina Fire. This is basically a woman who's having her pubic hair lit on fire. Once the pubic hair is burned off, the person lighting her area on fire then proceeds to just sort of burn her coochie area. And let me just state that this is actually a kink video, not a torture video. The next clip is called Glass Rod in the Piss Hole. Now it doesn't wait for you to realise what's going on as you're met with a man who inserts a glass rod into his pee pee hole. He then starts thrusting with it up his pee hole and then starts jacking off with the glass rod still in his pee hole. Now by this point we're actually around halfway into the mixtape and looking at the stuff that I've written down there's actually a bit less I think really to explain. Uh, then I've got written out here. Um, the clips just sort of get a little bit not long, although a couple of them are pretty long. Um, the clips just get a little bit tedious, I think, uh, from now on. Uh, there's still some pretty weird, horrible stuff in there, um, but they do get a little bit sort of longer, stretched out, tedious. You get some of the same stuff, really. 
Then yeah, I forgot to mention at the start, but this is actually a three and a half hour mixtape. So it's a long, it's a long mixtape. Anyway, the guy ejaculates with the metal rod still inside his pee hole. Okay, so hopefully everything looks more or less the same. I had a bit of a t-shirt change. Um, the mic might be a little bit adjusted a bit differently um, because I'm recording this a bit later on in the day, on the same day. So you might find it's a little bit, ba uh, a little bit darker in the background. Well, everything's looking pretty good, so we'll just continue on. So next up, we've got a man who's been eaten by a circus lion. Now, we don't see the actual eating, but there is a man in a cage with a circus lion. There's blood all over the floor, and at first it appears that the man is clearly dead. Now, he looks like someone who's either snuck into the cage, or he's a worker who's had an accident. He doesn't really look like a worker, so I can only presume that he's gone and snuck in with the lion. So one of the proper workers is actually trying to get the lion to stop eating the rest of this man who I presume to be dead at first. It turns out the man's very much alive as it tries to drag him into the centre of the cage. Uh, he's kicking and screaming and the worker is trying to get him out of there. The worker loses his grip on the man being dragged in and the police radio over to somebody for help. A man in army attire comes over with a revolver. He shoots the lion once, but the lion doesn't seem to be hit, or if it is hit, it doesn't seem to care very much. With his second shot, however, he manages to kill the lion, in which the lion is unfortunately left to die. And the man in the cage is saved. Now this is a prime example of don't fuck with animals, because they will kill you. So rest in peace to that poor lion. Next up, we've got Putrid Sex Object, which is a 2006 fetish movie. It shows a woman, I think it's a woman, turns out it's not. It's a man in a dress, walking around. And there's like this flayed dog head and flayed horse head on the floor. And the man in the dress like picks up like the tongue of one of these flayed heads and then just start sort of licking it and stuff like that. Now the video itself is extremely dark and it's really difficult to make out what's going on. There's a little bit of moaning and some thrusting actions so you can only really imagine what he slash she is doing with the flayed head. All I can really see is that there's some sexual activity going on and that's about it. And I think the thing that was clear that this was actually just a man in a dress is the fact that you do see at one point that he's put his penis into this flayed head uh, and he's also jacking off over it so if that doesn't tell you anything then I don't know what will. Next up we've got Hole in the Face and this is actually from a TV show called Embarrassing Bodies. It's a British TV show and it could be American as well, I don't know in which people actually come into some doctor's facility that's set up in their county or region uh, and for some reason it's for people who want to sort of show off their, I don't know, medical situation to the world for everybody to see such as like, for example, warty penises and stuff like that Now this particular man in this clip has a hole in his face it's covered by a white bandage at first. He takes off the bandaging and pretty much the entire side of his left face is completely missing. In which you can see the inside of his mouth, the roof of his mouth, his tongue and his teeth. The next clip's called Breakfast Time with some shit eggs. There's a woman, arse out, crouching over a frying pan. Another woman takes the frying pan off of her and places it onto a stove. Now it skips the whole cooking process, as clearly it's not your average cooking show, and cuts to the poo fried, and on a plate. The woman who took the pan away from the shitter, <sighs> proceeds to eat the shit eggs. Now if you like scrambled eggs or omelettes, then you certainly wouldn't after viewing this video. Now next up we've got more prolapse masturbation and by this point you can even see 
that the creator is bored of this stuff as well. It's just a woman fingering her prolapsed anus. Next up is Guy Dump's Dog Poo Milkshake on Girlfriend. It shows this guy blending some dog poo in a blender and he's got this giant white plastic bag full of it. Once it's blended, he pours it into a large pitcher. He then stores this pitcher in a fridge so that it's nice and cold, like a milkshake. It cuts to him now going outside with the pitcher in hand. He stands on the balcony as his girlfriend comes out with some rubbish for the bin and then he dumps it all over her. Now it's a relationship that I can't see continuing to be honest uh, and it's quite cruel. And then he throws flour in a face which obviously sticks to the dog shit milkshake that's already covering her. Next up is beer enema pint drinking. This is a group of very drunk people. One of them gets a tube put up his bum hole. One of the men tries to tip the beer that he's got down the guy's bum uh, and then he's dared to drink it. And it reminds me of an Australian jackass to be honest. As the guy who drinks the beer throws back up into his cup and then re-drinks it. Next up we've got Dead Cat Collector. Now this actually looks like it's from a documentary as there's a man talking about why he likes to collect dead cats. There's also a woman who goes out of her way to kill these cats and then store them in the refrigerator. She tells us that she's got close to 75 to 100 cats stored in her refrigerator. Okay so if it's your own cat then fair enough but from what these people are saying on this particular documentary it sounds like they actually go out of their way to kill cats and then store them. I mean maybe they do it for taxidermy purposes to sell them. Either way it's messed up that they don't collect them if the cats have died of natural causes. Now the documentary moves on a little bit and it looks like some kind of crime scene cleanup team were sent in there or maybe pest control as it shows somebody trying to catch a live cat and they end up finding a dead bagged up cat behind the closet. The next clip is death metal pig squeal. This is a horrible horrible video of a pig on the floor. Someone proceeds to put a sharp object under the pig's shall we say armpit in which he goes deeper with this object and the pig screams in pain. The scream gets more higher pitched until it ends up as a soundless scream. The pig is bleeding out the whole time and eventually the soundless scream turns into a very low growl and then the man who stabbed the pig clears up the blood with a hose pipe. Now there is actually another pig that's roaming around while this is all going on and I can't imagine how that other pig must be feeling. Next up we've got wheelchair masturbating. So there's this old man in a wheelchair who rolls up in front of the camera. He has a book on his lap which I can only presume is porn. I mean he shows us the front cover and it is porn. And it doesn't show an absolute ton of this thing, fortunately. Uh, it basically just shows him reading the book, whacking off a little with uh, some Mario music in the background. Next up is one girl, six nostrils. And no, it isn't a girl with six nostrils. This is a girl surrounded by three other girls, in which the three girls force out snot onto this one girl sitting on a chair. Now these three girls must have a very bad cold, as the woman in the middle is soaked with snot. It cuts to her lying down on the floor. <laughs> okay now in which they start snotting into her mouth and then one of the women proceeds to throw up on her. Next up we have swimming in a septic tank. Now I had to look this up just to make sure I knew what I was watching uh, and it's basically a guy swimming in sewer crap but he's in this sort of septic tank and he's just having a really good dunk in there. Next up we've got he makes his own protein shakes. This is a guy with a bunch of condoms filled with what I can only presume is semen. 
He pours each individual condom into a protein bottle. He then puts it all into a glass bowl and stirs it with his penis. He then whacks out a fresh one into the bowl. And then he starts drinking from said bowl. Next up we've got White Guy Eats Dead Pigeon. This is a man who finds some roadkill on the ground. He picks it up and without hesitating, he takes a bite of the raw dead pigeon. The person behind the camera tells him to have a bite of the wing, in which he does. The next clip is called Eating Squirrel Roadkill. This is actually a YouTube video from a man named Food for Louie. And this is the same guy who made the blended mice drink video. Except he seems to be in a much more professionally filmed environment this time. Now I did some research on this guy and it turns out he's actually pretty popular. Since making these videos he's actually gone vegan for a variety of reasons. So as you can see this used to be a legit YouTuber or still is rather. He just doesn't have these particular videos up anymore probably because YouTube removed him or probably because he realised that he needs to stop eating roadkill. Maybe. Now even though this was on YouTube I won't be showing any of this. Um, he basically picks up the dead squirrel and he takes a bite into its back leg. He struggles to bite into it as the fur and skin is just too tough. So he stands on one half of the dead squirrel under his shoe and tries to rip it in half. He eventually does so, revealing the inside of the squirrel, in which he proceeds to take a bite. Next up we've got neo-Nazi beheadings, which I guess makes a change from ISIS or cartel beheadings not that they're any better. Now instead of the Allahu Akbar line, we have a Heil Hitler line before the beheading. And the dude beheading the guy is really going for it. Next up, we've got Chubby Midget Fucked From Behind. This is a fairly large midget being dicked down from an average size male. The next clip is Do It Yourself Toenail Removal. We've got a man showing off a fairly large pair of pliers. Now I presume his nail is probably ingrown or something uh, because the nail is already half off. He grabs the nail of the big toe by its side and then proceeds to rip the nail off. He rips it off and then shows it to the camera. The next clip is called Railroad Accident. This is a man who's been cut in half by a train. He's still alive. His legs are separated from his torso and his torso is still lying on the track with his legs outside of the track. Next up we've got Dick Spray, Blood and Cum. This is a penis that has a sharp needle taken out of it, in which it sprays blood all over the torso of a man. He then ejaculates and comes blood at the same time. Next up we've got old couple dildo butt sex. This is an older couple who decide to do something a little bit experimental. It's a little bit of pegging. Next clip is foreskin stapler. A man stretches out his foreskin onto a table in which somebody staples it down. He tries to remove his foreskin from the staple and the table by using what I think looks like a credit card. Next up we've got Asians have the sexiest fetish. It's an Asian woman throwing up into a jug where a Asian man drinks it from a funnel. He also drinks it on the floor while she pukes over his head. She pukes in his mouth and he also licks the vomit from her feet. Next up we've got anal insertions. There's a huge dildo in which a woman squats onto. A large clump of jelly worms is pushed out of a woman's bum hole. There's the same woman from the first clip which uh, she's getting punched in the asshole. Well, I mean, it's more of a fisting motion. There's a woman with her whole arm up another woman's bum hole, where she basically hits the inside of the stomach, and you can sort of see it going up. It's like that one scene from, I think it was Prometheus, 
I could be completely wrong. It's that movie anyway where an alien comes shooting out of somebody's stomach and they're all freaking out like, oh my god, an alien baby in space. Yeah, it's, that, it's like that, except it's a bit weird. Next clip is the best puke ever. Now this is a woman who's clearly taken a penis a little bit too far into her throat, in which she ends up throwing up all over the penis and herself several times. Next up, we've got elephant birth. And this is an elephant giving birth. And this is another one that's actually more interesting than gross. It basically shows a baby elephant being born, in which the baby elephant is wrapped in a sort of sack, C-A-C sack. Now the baby elephant drops to the ground, the sack bursts and a large amount of blood and fluid goes gushing all over the floor. I mean they also show this elephant baby coming out in slow motion as well. It really gives slow-mo guys a run for their money. But the baby's all well and good as it gets straight up and starts walking and slipping about all over its mum's blood. <laughs> yeah I went a little bit too far with this next one. So I'm literally about to read you a whole story here, to be honest. And I'd forgotten that I wrote <laughs> this much for this next one. I've literally written everything in detail because there were subtitles for this video. So next up, we've got Church of Fudge. And this is actually a long lost shock video that I remember seeing a long, long time ago um, and forgot about it ever since. And this was probably one of the first shock videos that I'd seen. Now there's a priest and a nun. The nun says to the priest, Your flesh, your flesh must be cleansed. As the nun takes off the vicar's pants, in which he acts like, well, a priest in any sexual predicament, he says to the nun, Oh my god, nun, nun, what are you doing? And he acts majorly embarrassed as he's breaking his trust with God. The nun says back to him, We're going to beat the evil together. He says back to the nun, Oh my god, sister. Oh my god. Together? In which she replies, All of the evil will spill out of you. She starts eating his ass, and he says, Uh oh, help me, sister. Sister, sister, oh no. And then he shits in her face. And the nun says, oh yes, let it all out. She's coughing by this point, in which she says, that's good brother, that's good brother, let it all out. There's a couple of yeses and a few grunts. According to the subtitles, the priest starts murmuring some Latin shit, and then the subtitles, more Latin shit comes through. The priest then says, in urine and shit we are born, and in urine and shit we will be reborn. He then says to the nun, let me see your face. He starts mumbling more Latin stuff as he rubs the poo in the nun's face. He then says, sister, what have I done? The nun replies, I rescued you from this world and took the evil in myself. Next up we've got the Nicaraguan chicken <laughs> Next up we've got the Nicaraguan chicken fucker. Now I can actually show this clip because it's like really documentary style and there's no actual intercourse with the chicken here. And I won't be showing the face of the young boy either because he is under the age of 18. So take a look. Llega un momento en la vida en que empiezan a ver a las gallinas con ojos diferentes. Simplemente porque les resulta más fácil conquistar a una gallina que a una muchacha. Alexander de 15 años le ha hecho el amor a sus gallinas desde que tiene 11. Cuando su mamá no está, él se va a su cuarto. ¿Cómo puede ser eh, humano con un animal? No puede ser humano con un animal. No, no, no. ¿Por qué no? Porque no puede. No tiene un aparato de que sea definitivo 
eh, que me perdió la señora como la señora, pues, como la mujer. Es diferente la parada. Es claro, es claro. Es diferente la parada. Pero se parece la parada. Ah, claro que se parece, pero no, no podemos hacer eso nunca. ¿No le gustaría tener sexo con eso? No, 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 que capaz eso. Extraño, que yo lo había oído pues en otras así, noticias, en lo que sale, pero que, había, que lo iba a experimentar mi hijo, como que yo le dije pues a él que no lo volviera a andar haciendo porque eso es malo. ¿Por qué cree usted que es malo? Por lo que a veces vienen las enfermedades, y sin protección, sin nada, entonces... Next up we've got a new use for the blender. This is a man who puts his penis into a blender. Luckily, it's without the blades in, and he just sort of sets it off running with his penis flopping about. Next up, we've got baby soup. This is an operation on a woman's vagina, and this looks like an abortion to some extent, uh, where a fetus, to some extent, is pulled out of a woman's womb. It's just these little chunks of fetus in like a pool of blood. There's also a close up on the woman's vagina where there's a literal hand coming through. So the doctor starts pulling this little hand, which then eventually develops into a full arm. And the doctor is just pulling out chunks of baby. You can see the doctor pull out the lower half of this fetus which looks like more of that of a frog. He tries to pull the full thing out, but the head is ripped away from the body. He then scrapes the remnants of the baby out into a metal tray in which we're shown before it moves on to the next clip. Next up, we've got woman gives birth on the way to the hospital. This is a woman in a car seat who has just pulled a baby out of herself. The baby is fine and crying. Next up we've got a sad thugs bury man alive. Now there's a man buried in the ground with his head poking out. One of the members of the Assad group picks up a shovel. A couple of thugs start shoveling dirt onto this man, all while screaming the Allahu thing. Next up we've got person cut into pieces. This is a clip of a man hung upside down. I presume the people doing the act are part of a cartel as a website comes up called Tierra del Narco. Now they start by beheading the man at first, which I guess is the nicest thing to do. Now we skip the part where they chop his arms off as in the next cut, his arms and head are removed. They then proceed to cut his left leg off followed by his right leg. Once the legs are removed, the torso just sort of flops to the ground. Next up, we've got eight year old Russian gets a lethal dose of heroin. So this looks like it's recorded from maybe the early 90s and it shows a Russian kid being injected with a needle full of heroin. Now all the other kids around him are smoking and whatnot and it's basically an older group of kids who inject this eight-year-old with a heroin needle and it shows this kid in a sort of zoned out trance-like state. Next up we've got anal fist revenge. It's a woman fisting her bum in which she just pulls out some poo. Next up we've got the bunny goddess which we have actually talked about before. I'll post it in the description. It's basically a drag queen with a disability tap dancing. And yeah, if you want to know more about it, I'll just post a link in the description. Uh, and now this is meant to be a creepy little video, but I actually find it more sad than creepy because of the backstory of this woman. Next up, we've got the never-ending horse cyst. This is a horse with a giant cyst on its back end. Someone is pouring water onto it as the cyst is squeezed and there's a lot of pus and blood coming out from it and it sort of just goes on and on and on. Next up we've got bursting the old man's back bubble and yep it's another one of the pimple slash cyst bursting videos. It's a man with a giant pimple on his back 
A woman wearing gloves proceeds to go for it and burst it. Next up, we've got interview with a donkey fucker. And like the chicken fucker clip, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Take a look. Yo tropezado un proyecto, un cálculo, un... Yo tropezado más de 100 burras. Gran amigo Evandro. Amigo mío que hubo. Uh, me dijo, madre, vamos a comer una burra. Que... Primera vez que iba a comer burra. Y ya, y ves de esto adelante. Yo, ah, pero ven acá y como un mal puente aquí. Ah, que la de ti y ya, y yo había la de ti y esa... Chucha colorada esa burra así. No, muchas veces uno se concentra en mujeres. Como hay veces que está únicamente en el alto concentrado que tiene una burra cogida. And I'll just stop that there as it does actually show him having intercourse with the donkey. Uh, now it is blurred out, uh, but we'll just cut that clip there. Next up, we've got cartel slow beheading. There's a man tied to a chair and they use this tiny little butter knife to behead him. And they weren't lying, this man is being beheaded excruciatingly slow. Once the head is removed, it's shown to the camera. Next up, we've got, and I'm gonna have to go to my notes for this because I cannot remember this. We've got dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. Now I had to look this up as I wasn't sure what was happening. But it's a video of somebody with this particular condition. It's a, it's a health condition. And it's a condition that causes the skin to fragile and blister very easily. It makes the skin extremely sensitive to things such as scratching and rubbing. Next up, we've got another graphic beheading. Now this beheading is related to the Los Zetas as there is some Spanish text that comes up with the obvious words, Los Zetas. And it's a beheading with a large kitchen knife. And we don't really need to go into too much detail about this because there's a lot of beheadings and they're all basically the same thing. But they also chop this guy's leg off as well. And there's also a second man getting the same treatment. I presume they were both together. Next up, we've got brutal Mexican castration and beheading. Now this is another cartel video, and I couldn't make out a single thing as to what was going on. Now it's obvious that there's a man flailing about in the video, and if it wasn't for the title, we would have no idea what was going on. From the video, you can just about make out the shape of a penis being chopped off. And then the beheading of the man over a large white tub. Okay, so I'd be lying if I told you that it hasn't taken me three separate recordings to get this whole thing done. And if you've made it this far, then uh, good job. It's now the next morning, and uh, I didn't realise how little there is left. There's literally like one clip left to cover, um, ten minutes left of the mixtape. And I thought there was going to be a lot more than this, but it's just one clip and an outro, so... Let's finish this. So the next clip is the Dagestan Beheading Massacre. And this is another one that I've actually also talked about in finer detail. So if you want to see that one too, I'll also leave a link in the description to that one. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a group of five Dagestan men on the floor lined up. One of the men is already pretty much dead as the camera rolls with his almost beheaded body on the ground. The men are individually picked out one by one in the full video in which they're forced to lie on the ground in front of their comrades. The men do keep trying to escape. For example, the first man tries to go through the legs of the man who's about to try and kill him. In the background, there's another man who's being beheaded by another soldier and the screams of his fear and pain are absolutely horrific. And that man ends up being about 75% beheaded. And it cuts to him and he's still alive. And then the video cuts off completely and for some reason there's the Barney the Purple Dinosaur I Love You, You Love Me uh, song that comes on. 
for some reason. I mean, I think that's at, at that point I was like, this is definitely the outro. And it was. And that's it really. You basically roll the credits. You get a few scenes from what looks like Passion of the Christ uh, with Thomas Cinemagore as the director even though he didn't really direct anything, he just put a shitload of clips together and named them. And then there's a whole list of things that happens, uh, which I'll read out, respectively. There's a woman who gets shot in the head, which looks like it's also from a movie. There's a couple of shootings in the head. A man with his torso ripped open and his organs pumping. A guy who sets himself on fire and falls out of a building. A group of four people who get run over by a car. A guy who blows himself up with explosives. A couple of the starting clips from the Mondo Gore Band in America Volume 1. There's a guy on the floor who literally has his head stomped on. There's an AC-130 strike. A pig gets its head cut off and its body frantically squirms about. A man shoots himself in the head. There's an even shorter clip of the Chech Clay beheading. There's a CCTV shooting in a shop. There's a man with a literal spade lodged in his head. There's some eyeball slitting. A truck crushing a car. Car accident in which the body of a dead person, or half the body of a dead person, falls from the car. Couple of dead fetus pictures. A man who nails a nail into his penis. A man who nails both of his testicles to a table. A guy with his entire face split open. A man who crawls out of a car on fire, which is also in Band in America, Volume 1. The suicide of R. Bud Dwyer, which is also a video I've covered. Links down below. There's two men getting run over by a large bus. There's another car running somebody over. There's an explosion in a mosque. I think it's a mosque anyway. There's soldiers being shot in a lineup. There's a man on fire jumping off of a giant eagle statue. There's a man chopped in half on the side of a busy road. And then there's train cam footage of somebody waiting to be run over on the tracks. And then just to finish the whole thing off, we get the crucifix scene from The Exorcist. As well as a picture of Jesus flipping us the bird. And that's where MD Pope 2 ends. My personal thoughts? It was long. I am warm and that took forever to plan but as for the mixtape yeah it was exactly the same as MD Pope 1 uh, I think the main thing I will say about it is the scat and vomit very monotonous very very monotonous um, I can't say I enjoyed it uh, I don't really enjoy mixtapes unless I've got a bit of you know cartoon and shite like that adding into them um i do appreciate those they're pretty pretty interesting to watch yeah overall it was md pope too at the end of the day it's just a group of well-known videos put into one compilation and that's it md pope isn't a special mixtape you know all these uh, clips uh, on MD Pope they can just be found on on the internet <laughs> on the internet if you look on Google the clips are gonna be there you know you type in let's say Dagestan Massacre which we've just talked about it's there right on the surface of the internet all of these clips are there so it's not really an impressive mixtape as such it's a very, a very simply edited mixtape. I don't think I was expecting anything different from MD Pope 1. Uh, it's just a lot and a lot of shock videos and gore videos taken from the internet that I've seen as well as other Mondo Gore documentaries. For example, there were three clips towards the end of that. That were all just pulled from Band in America, Volume 1, which I remember clear as day. And I suppose the thing that I'll say about it is if you if you just want to uh, reminisce on some classic shock videos, then 
that's all MD Pope provides. You know, there's no clever, like I say, I, I really like the um, like End of Days mixtape and the Bleaksville mixtape because they've got something about them which actually makes me want to watch them, despite all the horrible stuff in there. There's some very clever, clever editing techniques in there. Empty Pope is just a compilation for three and a half hours with text, with the original sound. Um, and one of the things that I think does matter now in mixtapes is the music and stuff like that and the editing. Uh, so while MD Pope is probably one of the most, should we call it infamous mixtapes, it's certainly not one of the best. Uh, especially this one, it was incredibly monotonous at times. I was just extremely bored of watching people shit everywhere, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and when they weren't shitting everywhere, it was just a gore video that's plastered all over the internet. And yeah, that's all I've really got to say about it. Um, but I've explained it, so you don't have to go and watch it if you don't want to. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, worth a watch, I suppose, in the end. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. And if you'd like, maybe like, subscribe, and possibly click that bell next to the subscribe button. You get my latest updates, that'd be pretty cool, pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.